But what, because you're in the courtroom, what do you know about these parents and how they are every day in that courtroom? Well, they show very little emotion. They sit very quietly day in and day out. They're seated behind the defense team in what's considered the gallery of the court, which you can't see in the pool feed video that the court has authorized us to show. But I can tell you, I do look at them frequently to just see if they're reacting to some of the emotional testimony, to see how they seem to be handling some of the heartbreaking details that are coming out in court. And they don't show much. They sit quietly, looking straight forward really talking to nobody, hardly even talking to each other during some of the brief pauses or breaks in the courtroom. They look weary. They look solemn. They've come here to Colorado from San Diego for this trial that's expected to last at least four months. And we've witnessed no interaction with their son, at least in the presence of the court, not even eye contact. We did see in week one of the trial them try to pass a note to Holmes defense team. But other than that, that's been the only interaction we've seen between between the defense team, Holmes lawyers and Holmes parents. I can tell you there was an emotional moment yesterday in which we saw Robert Holmes turn and look directly at the family of victim Michaela Medic. Some family members had let out an audible whimper and some sobs as a witness was testifying about autopsies on the victims. And we saw Robert Holmes then look directly at that side of the court at that family. And so that mm. was um, one of the moments where we saw him show a little bit of emotion, Ashley. It's just heartbreaking because, you know, they, they're they innocent in all of this and they are uh, in as much pain uh, as, as everyone else. On, I, I just want to read this real quickly, what they wrote in this op-ed. We love our son. We've always loved him and we do not want him executed. Um, we do not know how many victims of the theater shooting would like to see our son killed, but we are aware of people's sentiments. It's just heart-wrenching.